All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're doing a video on the Apple Watch, and we're specifically talking about the walkie talkie application on the Apple Watch, a feature that I really, really like that a lot of people can't really usually get to work. Uh, it's been a hit or miss for a long time, and there's always things out there. And I had these same exact issues. I loved using the walkie talkie app, but adding friends was always a pain because they would never receive the notification to become friends of mine, and it was always a real pain. Well, these steps that I'm going to show you here in 2022 will get your walkie talkie app back up and running. Uh, and all of these sites that I saw that talk about this stuff don't mention the things I'm about to mention here, which is ultimately what got it to work for me for all the people who are still having issues getting their friends to receive their notifications to add them as friends in the walkie talkie app. And like I said, the feature is really cool. So I definitely think it's worth talking about this because I love using the walkie talkie app now that I got it to function. So let's go ahead and go through these steps here and let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming tech is the gaming tech, gaming tech is all right, guys, so we are going to, I'm showing you here on an iPad the steps that we need to take to actually get this to work. But of course, on your side, you're going to be using your iPhone because your iPhone is, of course, what's obviously connected to your Apple Watch. So just know anything I'm doing on my iPad, you guys will be doing on your iPhone. So, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings application on your iPhone. And we're going to go ahead and scroll and look for FaceTime here on the left-hand side. Of course, this section here is going to be grayed out for you guys because obviously I have my contact information on here, so I can't show you the screen. But... On the screen here, what you're looking for is it says you can be reached by FaceTime at. You should have your phone number sitting in there and your iCloud email address. iCloud email address is really important and the key here. So the iCloud email address is obviously your Apple ID, whatever that may be. So whatever you use for the App Store, whatever you use to sign into your Apple related stuff, that email address needs to be in there. If it's not in there already, usually you get an option right here at the bottom that says add your iCloud email address and you can just tap that button and it will add it in for you. But make sure that that's in here. They should both have check marks, your cell phone number and the iCloud email address. Your caller ID section can say whatever it wants. Usually you have your phone number selected there uh, as a check mark. But the top portion where it says you can be reached needs to be set correctly. So after we have that done, you're going to go to messages on the left hand side and you're going to see an option that says send and receive. Again, this is now grayed out again because my information is on here. But again, where it says you can re you can receive iMessages to and reply from, you need to make sure that you have, again, your iCloud email address listed in here and your phone number as well. J the exact same way you did it on the FaceTime section. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the contacts application on your cell phone here. So go ahead and open that up, open up the contacts. And I obviously have my random account, uh, name that I have here, but what you guys need to do is you need to look for your contact that you're actually trying to add into the walkie talkie. So whoever that may be, let's say that that's Jim, you're looking for that contact and you're pulling it up and you go to edit and then you're looking at his contact. Usually what happens is two things. One, the phone number that's listed here is usually set up as mobile, like mine is right now. What you wanna do is you wanna edit his phone number and change it to iPhone. That's the first thing. So then the iPhone is actually shown there and his cell phone number is there. The other thing you wanna do, his iCloud email address must be listed in here. That's another key component here to get this to work when things are not working correctly. Uh, you need to add the email address and again, you enter in his iCloud email address, whatever he uses for Apple, and then you change the email address from home and you make it say iCloud. So put whatever email that needs to be in there in there, change it to iCloud. These are the two key settings. Uh, along with the other settings that need to be set correctly for this to work, especially for those of us who are having issues. Because again, the walkie talkie is very hit or miss. Sometimes people don't have the iCloud email address in there and it still goes through because it still finds its way to the person. But when you're having issues like a lot of people were having where it's not adding the person or all that kind of stuff, you need to make sure that these settings are in place. That's ultimately what fixed it for me and all of my friends that I've tested this on six or seven already. So we have that set here. You're gonna go ahead and save the contact once that is set. And then the last thing we're going to take a look at is on the actual watch itself. So we're going to go ahead and put this to the side here. And when you open up the walkie talkie app, like I do right here, I have the walkie talkie sitting in the front. Usually you guys are going to have uh, an invitation to someone right here. So you're going to have a pending invitation to whoever. If they're yellow, that means they're part of your friends list like mine are right now. But yours will say that you sent an invitation to that friend. Make sure you actually delete that invitation. So swipe to the right to actually remove them on the contact and remove them and delete them so there's no pending invitation. So once you have all of those steps done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your friend do the exact same thing. So whoever is obviously doing the walkie talkie with you, so if it was Jim, now you're gonna have Jim do the exact same steps that you did. So he's also 
going to go into his settings and go into FaceTime and iMessage and make sure his iCloud email address and phone number are in there. He's also going to go in his contact and make sure now your contact is now showing up the same way where it has iPhone listed there and it has the iCloud email address listed in there. Once you both have those settings matched to each other, you're going to take your iPhone, you're going to take your Apple Watch, and you're going to reboot both of them. You both have to do it on both sides. And you both reboot your watch, you both reboot your iPhone, doesn't matter what order, just reboot both of them. Once both of you guys have both of those things back up, then you're going to go ahead and add each other as friends. So one person goes ahead and add friend on the walkie-talkie app, the other person is going to do the same thing, and you guys should receive that notification, you guys should be able to now be friends. That is ultimately what fixed it. Now, a caveat here, just so you guys know, if you do the same thing for someone else, let's say you add Jim and it works successfully, and you guys are now friends, and now you want to add you know, whoever it may be, Stephanie on your contact now. You both are going to do those same exact changes that we just talked about on both your phones. You still need to, at the end of that, reboot your phones together, even if you just did that. Because every time you make a change like that with the iPhone and the iCloud and all that stuff, rebooting both your watch and your phone so everything syncs back up is needed uh, most of the time. So just go ahead and do that. Every time you add a friend, you'll have to do that on both sides rebooting your phones and your watches but the good news is is after you guys have your friends on here and they're yellow and now you guys are friends the walkie talkie app seems to work really really well uh, once you have that in place it's just getting somebody to be a friend is a pain because you need these settings in place so hopefully this video helps you guys hopefully uh, that works for you guys if you guys still have issues leave those comments down below and I uh, can see if there's anything else we could figure out but that's ultimately what fixed it for me and my six friends that we couldn't add each other and I tried everything I found online and these are the combinations of things that I finally found that actually works so Go ahead and uh, do that, guys, and let me know if that worked for you guys. If you guys have any questions on this video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.